Hi, I'm Turin McFarlane, the Environment Extension Manager with Beef and Lamb New Zealand for the South Island. We've been working on a high country lake catchments environment project, which has involved working with three high country stations, including Reese Valley Station at the head of Lake Wakatipu, as well as Mount Burke and Mount Aspiring stations in the Lake Wanaka catchment. Working with Chris Arbuckle from Aspiring Environmental, we've been able to develop some really detailed environmental resource information as part of working through a land and environment plan level three. As part of each land and environment plan, we're also exploring the challenges that come with managing natural resources in these unique high country environments, looking at the environmental risks as well as identifying land management opportunities. It's been great to join the farmers and others in the surrounding communities in a series of field days and just be a part of the growing awareness of environmental management in the high country farming context. Uh, hi, my name's Grant Ruddenclaw. Um, this is Mungawera Valley in the Wanaka region. Uh, with my wife Karen, we own 300 hectares here in the Mungawera Flat, which five years ago we leased to Mount Burke Station, and I took over the management of the property. Uh, to be part of the Beef and Lamb Environment Project's been really enlightening um, as a farm manager, and along with Tim Burden, uh, the owner, and our staff, um, we've all enjoyed to be part of the process. I think as farmers, and uh, been farming for quite some time, we think that we're doing uh, very well environmentally, and uh, it is always in the back of the mind of what we do, but until you've been involved in this project and completed an LEP3, um, you don't really understand what's happening beneath the ground and uh, in our waterways, etc. So uh, as far as making decisions long term for the property and for the Wanaka wider area, uh, it's been it's been a really great project to be involved in. Hi, I'm Kate Scott, and this is my mother Iris. We farm Reese Valley Station at Glenorchy at the head of Lake Wakatipu in the Lakes District in Otago. I would definitely recommend the the project that we've been involved in. You know, for other people to get into it as well. I think you know it's been we've learned some really interesting stuff. It's been actually quite fun at times, and I think um, you know it's kind of future proofing in a way. I mean, sooner or later, we're you know everybody's going to have to do some kind of environment plan for their farm, and I think. Um, you know, getting the expert help that we've had through the course of this project to do that has really helped us kind of get a get a bit of a head start. Well, I, I think the Beef and Lamb Environment Plan is a, a very good way to start thinking about the future for you for your property and and how you're going to uh, maintain or change as necessary what what practices you've got, and not only that, but to be able to justify what you're doing to outsiders and. I think this is a, um, I'd fully recommend the Beef and Lamb Environment Plan for anyone who's wanting to gather this sort of information and be prepared to produce it when required. Um, yes, yeah, so I ran to Aspinall, I'm farming at Mount Aspiring Station with my wife Alison, we're 45 kilometres northwest of Wanaka. Being part of the Beef and Lamb Environment Project's been pretty useful for us. It's just it's put the focus a wee bit more for us on the environment, and um, and I guess just made us think about it with what we're doing day to day, and sort of working out what we can do to produce better environmental outcomes. And just being involved in the project means we spend a lot of time thinking about it and talking to talking to different people with some good ideas and new ideas about um, what we can do to to improve and I guess produce better outcomes. Yeah, I think we all love farming and everyone loves New Zealand and the environment we live in, so it's important that we, um, that we all make sure that we leave the land better than we got it. And uh, I think this is just one small way of helping prioritise and focus on doing that.